Today on A Common Good MTG, we're back with to Rakdos Forge, which is a deck that's black and red and focuses on using Urbrask Forge to send out a constant, ongoing, growing, trampoly, hasty threat every single turn. If that sounds great to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. And you know, in weightlifting, I don't think that sudden uncontrollable urination should disqualify you. Doctor, you can't suck it. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck that, uh, for the most part, I found over on Aether HUD, posted by the MTGA Meta Assistant. But I found that it was not good enough to play, so I had to make some modifications to it. So it's, uh, it's about 70-80% original from MTGA, or from a... Uh, Aether Hub, and uh, about uh, you know 10 to 15 percent me. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the cards in this deck. We'll talk a little bit how it should work, and then we'll go out and we will crush some hopes and dreams. What is this deck? This is a uh, Urbras Forge, and it's a Steel and Sack deck mixed together, right? That kind of stuff. Because we're gonna be doing a lot of sacrificing, but then if we can sacrifice our opponent's stuff, that's even better. All right, so let's go for what we got here. We got a guy that when he's when he dies, he allows you to scry and gets you a treasure token. So if he wants to die, good for him. Here's a guy, first strike haste, put it out. If we want to sacrifice him, we can draw a card and get a treasure token. We have to pay to three for it. We can't just sacrifice him through other means. But for a deck like this, this is a really decent one drop. Uh, Fell will destroy target creature for two. Uh, let's go here, destroy target non-outlaw creature for two. I should just have four of these next time, right? This guy is objectively the better card. All right, and then we've got uh, whenever you sacrifice a permanent, you get a popo counter on this guy. This guy's going to eat up all the sacrificing that's going on. Where's Braids? What does she do? She makes you, She says, hey, would you like to sacrifice something? And I'm like, boom, boom, baby. Yes, I am. I'm the Midnight Bomber. What bombs at midnight? I love sacrificing. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. She's going to be a sacrifice engine. This is where I'm going to grab somebody else's person, at which point then I'll sacrifice it to Braids. I'll grab somebody else's person. I'll grab somebody else's person. I'll put out a dude and sacrifice it at the end of the turn. I'll wipe the board of up to three, or I could take out artifacts of three or less, which will help us against the, what is it, the uh, the synthesizer. Uh, Lagamos puts out a dude that we can that sacrifices at the end of the turn. Kethic forces Ace, you may sacrifice another creature. So between Braids and Kethic, we got uh, Sacrifice Engines. And uh, that's pretty much it. So what are we going to do with this deck? We're going to control the board a little bit. We're going to put out some little dudes. We're going to grab other people's stuff. We're going to have guys that are going to come out every single turn. This guy stays the same at 2-1 with Trample and Haste. This guy gets bigger every turn with Trample and Haste. And uh, that's it. We're going to grind them down in an aggressive and horribly forward way. That sounds good, then stay tuned. Now let's get going. Now before we can cause any damage, let's do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black Queen Shouldred, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush your enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear lamentations of the women. Alright, we're playing against Cabezon MT. Cabezon. Alright, shut off his guys. Those guys are Squeakosaurus Rexes. Two.
All right, three. Let's get out of the freebooter. See if this freaks him out at all. Here we go. That's a lot. He does not seem to be putting anybody out. Let's just look for something else. We already got three of them. Nothing. All right, where's my Urbesque Forges at? All in. There we go. That felt nice. What do you think you're going to do? I'll tell you what, I'll furnish rain your bat. Let's touch it in an achy way. I don't think you have the ability to protect it. You could. Green's got that all-star ability. You gonna waste it? All right, there you go. You should have waited a couple more turns. All right, you're driving me crazy. I think I fell asleep there for a second. Get him. You're just delaying the inevitable there, Bob. going to force the discard of the card I needed for that. Alright, so stupid ass, stupid ass. I was most unpleased with picking up yet another land. 
That was not cool, man. Alright, he's gonna do is it life gain he gets? Otherwise I'll just kill him next turn. Or a brass forge. He's really hoping for the best there. And we win! In your face, Cabronosaurus! Victory! I'm right, playing against BTW, I'm Killer. Nope. I right, singleton out. Well, those things are gonna do very well against the, all of the rabbits. Really need more. I could have got Arabas Forge out that turn, but I was more focused on killing rabbits. Seen this deck before. Yeah, all these guys on his side tend to be pretty weak. He's going to get out the guys that are big because of all the other guys that are out. But once they're all removed, they'll all die. That guy's going to live beyond it. Where did he come from? It's not in that deck. Suck that up. Cool. Brotherhood didn't skew really well. Kill that off. I'm willing to do the trade. Brotherhood's end. Unfortunately, we don't have any more. I mean, I do somewhere in this deck, but that's it. I don't have it in my hand. He goes, where's all of the ones where we grab other people's dudes? That's what I'm looking for. And we win. Boom, boom. Goes the room. Our thing against Daniel. That is just a name, dude. That shows a lack of imagination. Unless you just, your name is like Reed or something and you really want to be called Daniel. Get your pooping cat off my grant. Get off there. That is so gross. All right, now, there you go. You stop pooping in my grant. 
All right, what are we doing? We got threes. I'm hopefully going to find what I'm looking for. Otherwise, we're just going to get the infiltrator out. You can tell who the infiltrator is because he's the guy that has glowing tubes hooked up to him. Hey, Bob, you doing okay down there? Oh, yeah, I'm just fine. What are those, like, uh, you know, glowing tubes sticking out of you? Ooh, nothing. All right. All right, cool. If we can keep the infiltrator out, it'd be great. He'll pump up like crazy. Come on, let him be. I'd get rid of Urbass Forge if I were you. Unless you're planning on putting out a lot of guys. There you go. Save my last Urbass Forge. Pump! All right, Daniel, it doesn't seem like you're making quick decisions here. Is your mom there? Is she telling you what to do? Remember, word to your mama. Oh, I can't believe you had it. Lagamos will just have to do lagamos -y things. You don't like him, do you? All right, you had to choose, and you chose to take the damage instead. All right, everybody in the pool. Just a couple of fish. I'll decline. We're cool. Where's our fourth mana, man? It's been a while. Now we get it. You gonna use your mana to eat your food? Non-land permanent. Jeez, people. I remember that cycle sound effect from a billion years ago. We had to sit there and we had to listen to it constantly. It was ridiculous. If I want to put a creature out, I can use him to kill you next turn. 
You don't like Lagomos, do you? Yes! He's not worth doing. He's, he has zero mana. Like it doesn't do any mana costs, so therefore he doesn't do any good with Kathek. And we win! Touchdown, Lava Bears! All right, we're playing against John G. Mack. Two mana. Ooh, we got a lot of grabbers, don't we? Hope we can pick up the third and fourth mana. Make everything work for us. Keep. Trick or treat. There's another slide bob. I got nothing to do for two. I need a third mana so badly. I will trade off. All right, now I won't. You gonna attack me and hurt yourself? Unfortunately, if he takes that Urbrass Forge, we're in a bad way. Everybody dies. All right, this is looking good. We can grab Gliss on our next turn. He's got to keep Kathek alive. No blocks. All right, cool. Killing me, G. Get out of my way. Locker. That's who you want to block, huh? All 
Alright, into turn. Sacrifice. There we go. That was a good move. That was beautiful. Why is... Oh, you want to go up to the cheap guy. I see. You had turn in your hand. All right. And we win! Suck it, Duffy Moon! Victory! I are playing against Kano. Kano. All right, we got to go for three the hard way, unfortunately, but we got it. Nothing to do before then. All right, so we got rains, rains, rains. I'd like to get this out and sure you just kill it, but. He's trying to mill like crazy. Not worth it. These guys aren't worth it either. Oh, that is devastating. All right, you want to block? Go ahead. Pop this dude out so we can do the sacrifice. And we get another guy out. Uh... Yeah. Sort of needed him. All right, well, I can use him. I got that's ten right there. I can just win. Here we go. Elder Dragon War. And we win! In your face, Kano! Victory! Alright, so we are with Rakdos Forge 2. I gotta say, it was a long night of playing Rakdos decks. And finally, this is the only thing that actually seemed to work okay. Rakdos Forge 2. So yeah, great deck. Did a good job. Had lots of great stuff going on. Fantastic. All right, let's talk about who was the MVP. It was Urbask Forge. Urbask Forge was the MVP of this deck. Everything else was fun. Um, I can say the guys that kind of forced the, the discard, or not the discard, but the sacrifice of a guy, those guys were good. That would have been Braids and Kethic. I definitely choked back on the amount of things that caused that to occur. I'm thinking maybe it would have been good to put them in. It's just that... This deck originally had a lot more of that, and I found that it was um, lame. It didn't work out very well. Maybe I could talk about that sometime else. All right, so it did good with what it did. I thought it was great. I'm still going to give it to Urbass Forge. You were the man. Congratulations. You're my MVP. Just, let's focus on you for a second. All right. Was this deck competitive? I ended up with a 71% win rate, which is well within casual competitive. Uh, I didn't take it on the ranked ladder. I played probably like 4 billion games tonight. I lost like like 3,999,000 of them. 
I wasn't going to be on the rank on the ladder for that. So um, this deck did very well. I think it's a competitive deck. I'll leave it at that for that. All right, was this deck fun? Yes. My big problem with it, take a look at that. It's got the big old middle finger sticking up right there at three. Almost nothing at one, nothing at two, nothing at four. It's just threes like crazy. So I had a little hard time with the fact you couldn't do much for the first two rounds. But once you got to three, things were usually rocking pretty hard. And that was fantastic. Least Reckless Lackey did a good job. If anything, I, I'm not sure. If, yeah, Freebooter gave us the treasure if he died. He was a guy. Technically, see, you need three to be able to get treasure out of this guy. I don't know. This looks like it's balanced okay. I just still had a problem with it. Um, all right, so was it fun? It wasn't as fun as I'd hoped, but still, it was fun enough to play. Was this thing interesting? Um... Yeah, I'm going to say so. You know who the interesting guy was? Kethic right there. Because, just because I'd never seen him before. I mean, he, he came from, what is that, the, the the vault or whatever? No, he's not vault. Whatever that's from. I've never seen him get played before. He was good in this deck. He was a little expensive at four, but four is not that bad. But he was definitely an engine for sacrifice, which is what this deck wanted to do. You're sacrificing things all the time. He wasn't as great. Braids was probably better. Just because the raids always sacrifice things, and at least you cause the other person to sacrifice something or to, to damage. In this case, you were looking for good stuff, but you needed to sacrifice either your own stuff or have your hands on your opponent's stuff for it. The things you were sacrificing more times was the Forgelings or a Lagamos guy, an Elemental, and those guys didn't help out Kathic at all. So um, he was interesting. I, did, I don't normally play the... Uh, the, the, the steel guys with this deck, but they were fun. It was a good deck. I liked it quite a bit. Um, we had things to do with it. I, we had a, Originally, this deck had a lot more creature removal and planeswalk removal that relied upon just um, sacrificing something, but it doesn't happen enough. And then you're sitting with these incredibly awkward and expensive cards in your hands. So I'm glad I changed it to the way I did. I thought they were way more efficient, easier to play, and made the deck a ton better. All right, so was this an interesting deck? For me, I thought this was a very interesting deck. I like to see it. All right, so let's add that up. Was this deck competitive? Yes. Was it fun? It was fun enough. And, I mean, it was totally fun because of an Urbass Forge deck. I just have high expectations. And lastly, was it interesting? Totes. So I'm going to give this deck a... I'm going to give it an A+. I thought it was a great deck. For that that win rate, 71%, and being a great Urbass Forge deck, absolutely it's an A+. plus deck. And as I'm required by federal law to say, this deck is so choice. I would highly recommend you pick one up, should you have the means. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.